Praise God, praise God. Number three. All right. So um, as God was saying, praise God, praise God. Satan, I rebuke you in your name of Jesus. He didn't like that last video on sexual um, immorality and sexual um, soul ties. Because all of a sudden, you, you can always tell when witchcraft is trying to be thrown at you. Because it tries to penetrate your head. But guess what? It came and it went. It had to go. I'm too anointed, baby. Get up out of here. Get up out of here with that foolishness. And, and I'm going to tell you straight up. I pray over my computer and I tell y'all things because I want y'all to, I want to teach you. I want to teach you everything that I know, especially in the spirit. I take some more and I pray over this computer and I pray over that camera because let me tell you what these witches and warlocks do. They look at us and they pray things. They get on, they get on these lives. That's what they do. And they pray. But guess what? All you witches, all you warlocks, I got something for you. I got that Holy Ghost fire, baby. So keep watching. You might even get saved. I see you peeping. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get to the story so what god told me god says that a lot of you are missing it because y'all listening to that old traditional preaching talking about that your first ministry is family no your first ministry is with the god your first ministry is to do what god say do that's why a lot of people are in trouble with their husband their wives their family y'all too busy trying to please them let me tell you something you're supposed to stand in the gap for them how do you stand in the gap for them, Apostle? You got to be with God first because you don't know what the enemy trying to hit them with on the backside. So I can't be trying to please my family and trying to please God. I got to stay with God because guess what? I got to cover them. Hallelujah. So I can't be your friend. I, I can't do what you want me to do. I can't let this slide. No, some of you need to speak up because you don't want nobody mad at you. And that's why they're doing what they do, how they do what they do because you're not taking your full authority. God says it's time for you to call out sin and tell the truth. In love. Y'all sitting up there, I don't want to say nothing. I don't want to say nothing. So but what you're doing is you're talking on the phone about them. So what's the difference? So you might as well just pray, pray in secret to God. God, this is how I do. When Even when I get up on here, I don't just come on here. I pray. I promise you. I put my hand. I pray. God, how do you want me to deliver it? What do you want me to say? We don't know what to do. Remember. Remember who's God. We're not God. He says, but by my spirit. Hallelujah. So everything has to be by the spirit. He says, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. So that means whatever we do with God attached to it, any kind of ministry, it got to be in the spirit. We can't do it in the flesh because flesh is a mess. So y'all sitting up there trying to please the husband, please the wife, please this one, please that one. But then you're losing your anointing. And then hold on, you're losing your power to stand in the gap for them because you love them so much. Can I tell you something? You're going to have to lose it all in order to gain it all. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. A lot of people don't like to hear that. You're so busy making them your God, your wife, your children, your husband. That's a sin against God. What does the Bible say? Those that does, don't love me and put me first. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You what? Are not worthy of me. And God is not trying to be an ugly God. He's just telling you how it is. The Bible says he's a jealous God. So what y'all have to do is go back to your foundation. Go back into praying for your family. Stand and in authority. You men, take your authority. Take your authority. Quit letting, oh, I knew you would make me sick. Quit letting her fine self rule you. That's Jezebel's spirit. Quit let because the sex so good. That's Jezebel's spirit. And some of you preachers, y'all do the same thing. Don't bring what's home into the pulpit. That's what y'all done did. Y'all looking at her, mm -mm, my baby fine. No, in the church, she need to sit herself down and let you be a man. Hallelujah. That's what's wrong with the church. Call her order and authority. God is calling it. Too many Jezebels. Let me tell y'all something. I might be an apostle, but I know my place. Even when I give conferences, if a man is there, they say the opening prayer. A man is there, they pretty much rust, rule stuff. I don't ever think I'm above a man and I'm an apostle. It does not matter. God says, God, then man, then woman. And that's what's wrong with the church. Women trying to be men. Don't make me start. Don't make me start. Don't make me start. It's out of order. It's out of order. Family comes second. God comes first. Period. End of story. Don't get it twisted. Because if you do, and I'm just being honest, y'all not going to like this. God will backlash your family. Then I bet you'll come back home. Oh, you'll come back home then. He allows something to happen to your wife, your husband, blah, 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 blah. 
And, you know, I'm just being honest, not trying to put nothing on y'all. I, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus because I want nobody to say what you're trying to put something on us. I'm just being real. Y'all know how God works. Don't act like you don't know that. God would backlash because of you and say, oh, now you want to pray to me again? But that's what you put before me. So I just pray y'all return back to order. Order. I keep hearing it so strong in the spirit. Order, 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 order. We're just straight to the point. I don't need to do a big sermon on this. Your first ministry is with God. Now your family is your second ministry. What does that mean? That means you got to minister to them. You can't be afraid to tell them. Now, hold on. He ain't say bash nobody. He didn't say try to play God. You cannot make them come to God. But you are supposed to say what thus said the Lord. You are supposed to tell them what the Bible says. I ain't saying badger nobody. I ain't saying try to make no, no, no. Because too many of y'all do that. Don't, don't be trying to drill nobody. You're not God. But it's so important for you to stay in a position. Therefore, you can pray and then God can touch their spirit. And then, to be honest with you, you may not win a whole lot of family members. You may have to pray like I pray. Father God, if I can't touch him, send somebody that can touch him. As long as the prayers go forth, it doesn't matter. You know, in the Bible it says Paul watered, Apollos watered. Okay, the increase came from God though. So that, that's the whole thing. Just give it to God. But you can't do it on your own. Some of y'all are loving your family to death which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. I'm just being real with you. And then when something happened, well, God, what happened? Maybe you happened. Maybe you didn't stand while God was telling you to stand. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Some of y'all won't even tell them they wrong because y'all scared. Let me be honest with you, because that cash flow, or, or, or they know somebody. Or, oh, man, I don't care what nobody have. You, I'm going to tell you what God said. You can get mad, whatever. I don't care what you say. I'm worried about your soul. I don't care if you don't love me. I'm worried about your soul. I don't care if you don't like me. I'm worried about your soul. I don't care if you talk about me. I'm worried about your soul. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Straight to the point. So I pray that y'all get it together. Share, tag this, order. I keep hearing order, order. God not playing. Y'all don't notice what God doing? God tearing down everything that the enemy built. Mm-hmm, everything. And that's in church and out the church. That's why that's why a whole word chaos, because God tearing down everything. He allowed it to be done. And a lot of people don't understand what's really going on. That murder, mayhem, all that y'all, God is allowing it because America has sinned. Judgment is here. Yes. Judgment ain't judgment ain't just when we're gonna get to heaven and go, we're gonna be judged again. Don't get it twisted. Judgment is now. And y'all still acting like y'all don't see it. Talking about, well, what we going to do? Let's pray it away. It ain't going away, honey. It's going to get worse. Because to be honest with you, America is just like Sodom and Gomorrah. And still want more and more of Sodom and Gomorrah. It, that flesh. It goes back to that flesh. Well, how do you do it, Apostle? You got to ask God. God, God, help me with this flesh. But that, but the, the I'm going to tell you what the problem is. Not getting in your word. I don't care about you going to church. Because most of y'all go to church. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about what you do after church. Come on. Y'all on the phone gossiping. Y'all on Facebook. Spend time with God. Repent before God. Cause then God will show you what you need to work on, how you need to work on it. Get in the word of God. The word of God is the water of God. It cleanses. It cleanses. It cleanses. It purifies. It sanctifies. Yeah. It'll change your life. That's the only thing. Drugs can't do it. Alcohol can't do it. Sex can't do it. Your mama can't do it. Your daddy can't do it. Your brother can't do it. Your sister can't do it. A job can't do it. Money can't do it. Only God can do this and keep us. Hallelujah. Because we need keeping. All of us. So I'm just telling you what God said. We're just talking. So let me do this last video. I'm, I'm glad y'all rocking with me. Oh, Thank y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. Y'all rocking with me. Yeah. When he told me I'd do four videos, I was like, he said, but you can't do it, Apostle. I'm telling y'all, if y'all, anybody have a relationship with God, you know God. God's something else, huh? I mean, I love him, but he real. The realest God, I, the realest one I ever met. Well, I didn't really technically meet him, but you know what I'm saying. Well, I kind of did. But anyway, that's another story. <laughs> but um, seriously, seriously. Please, please, please get it together. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm preaching to you. But I'm preaching to myself, too. We, we need to do this. We ain't got no choice. Y'all don't see it? It's hot out here. <laughs> the devil is acting a fool. This is how you're thinking. He know he has a short time. I'm trying to take everybody to hell with me. I don't know about you, but I ain't going. I'm not going. I'm not. I like barbecue, but I ain't trying to be barbecue. Because that's what's going to happen. And, I, and a lot of people don't believe it. But, hey, 
The Bible says it. God has showed me some things. I've never been to hell. But he has confirmed it is true. Hell is real. Nobody trying to go there. But he's sure trying to take people. And he'll use anybody, by the way. Whew. So I'm going to do this last video. God bless you guys. I love you guys. And I'm not trying to bash nobody or anything. So please don't think that. I'm just telling you what God said. Because God, we all need God. We all need to work on ourselves. Me too. So don't get it twisted. I'm just the messenger. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life. So just for that is who you are. Ah.